This simulation shows an emergency department at a busy hospital, with patients arriving both on foot and by ambulance. The hospital is keen to minimize wait times for patients to ensure that they are receiving the best care possible while avoiding patients leaving to seek medical attention elsewhere. A simulation model has been created with the objective of improving patient flow in the emergency department. You will see that the results collection period for the emergency department is a duration of 192 hours. By closer examination of the clock properties, we can conclude that the emergency department operates 24-7. There are two points of entry of how patients enter the emergency department, one being by ambulance and the other by foot. Patients arrive by ambulance on average every one and a half hours, and patients arrive on foot at various times throughout the day. There are three types of staff needed in the emergency department doctors, nurses, and a triage nurse. In this particular model, we have one doctor who is shift dependent, three nurses, and one triage nurse. All staff members are used in various areas of the emergency department. For example, within the cubicles, a nurse accompanies a patient, and then they are treated by the doctor, and then the nurse completes the procedure. If there are no resources available, patients are not treated. It's important to understand the patient flow on arrival. Some patients arrive and go straight to a triage nurse. Some are admitted and go to other areas of the hospital, such as recess. Patients admitted by ambulance go straight to an ER bed, and if no beds are available, they go to the waiting room. Some are shown directly to the waiting room. By running the model, you will see the size of the queue at the waiting room begin to build. We have also added results on the right-hand side of the simulation. If we speed up the simulation and look at the results at the end of the run, further analysis of the results shows that the average waiting time for patients is 3 hours and only 12% of patients are seen within the hour. The results show that 63 patients were not happy and decided to seek treatment elsewhere. Patients are waiting due to a lack of ER beds and doctors. Let's try adding an additional 2 ER beds. I'll run the simulation again and see the effect of patient waiting times. I have reduced the number of patients in the waiting room and I have also stopped other patients seeking help at other hospitals. We can see through the additional results that the waiting time for an ER bed has dramatically reduced to less than 1%. Average queuing time has reduced to 1.7 hours, and around 40% of patients are seen within the hour. But we can also see from the results that the doctors are being overworked at over 96% utilization. Let's try adding an additional doctor to the late shift of the emergency department. Let's run the simulation again and see what happens. The results now show that nearly 91% of patients are seen within the hour, and that there are no patients queuing in the waiting room or leaving to go to another hospital. It also shows that doctors have a more reasonable volume of work. In this situation, we've managed to prove that by adding two extra ER beds and an extra doctor on the late shift, that we're able to manage and improve the patient flow in this emergency department. It may be that there are other options you could try as well, such as adding more beds in a different area or multi-skilling some of the resources. But the benefit of Simulate is that you can try all of these risk-free in just a few clicks before implementing the best solution.